I chose this play because my dad got me a copy of the script and said, hey, I think you would, I think you would like this a lot. And I sat down and I read it one day and I got, it's the first script I've ever read I got, where I got through it in like 45 minutes. I think it's a really important play. I think it's a really important play in any time and place, but especially right now with uh, all of the awareness that's being brought to sexual assault on college campuses. This is an important play to do because it touches on that subject also. It's kind of difficult to approach it because she's a very like diverse character. She has a lot going on within her, um, but her tendency towards anxiety and fear and that kind of just like intensity, um, I can really relate to that. On a more deep level, I mean, I'm not going to say that I was a prisoner of war and you know abused repeatedly, but um, I, I have had myself and people around me um, directly affected by sexual assault. And so um, it's, it's interesting to be put into a character who, though she's more intense, you know, it's like to have that string in common, it's really easy to pull upon those experiences to make the actual performance a little bit more truthful. Yeah, and um, with Gerardo, I think he, she, in our <laughs> show is a girl. Um, I think she's the character that I relate to the most out of all of them um, at the end of the play. Gerardo tries really hard to do the right thing and is just kind of a terrible person because of that. And um, just like this constant desire to do good and to make sure that the presentation is good and to just be what the public eye wants to see and then isn't really it's very corrupt really in the end which I don't think I'm very corrupt, but, but in terms of like wanting to do good and wanting to put on a good face and stuff, I think with Gerardo I'm similar in that regard. I think it's a, it's a commentary on um, guilt and innocence and that uh, none of us are truly innocent.